Oh, mind bender. How you soar in the air, hug the terrain, and go around that questionable third loop that you do. I miss you, mind bender, but I have some good news that you need to hear and see. Let me explain. Mindbender has been operating since 1978, pleasing guests giving high thrills and intensity until the end of the 2019 season. At the end of the 2019 season was the last time we were able to walk close to Mindbender as the park was planning to add two new additions in Catwoman Whip and Poison Ivy Toxic Spin to the Gotham City section of the park. As the 2020 season began, we noticed that the whole entire Gotham City section was closed and that they were going to revamp it with an all new facelift, which everyone just expected that they were just going to close closed the area off for construction of the two new rides. But unfortunately, the park was only open March 7th and 8th before closing for months with us witnessing that a huge big chunk of track had been missing from Mindbender. But during this time that all parks were closed, something popped up on our radar that got all coaster enthusiasts and Six Flags Over Georgia enthusiasts alike as we got excited as we saw construction efforts were yet again underway for Mindbender and that new trains had arrived from Six Flags Magic Mountain's new revolution, giving us the impression, along with the rumors that Mindbender would indeed be getting new trains along with some new track profile that would make the ride a little smoother to move forward into the future. Of course, all this was rumors, speculation, nothing was set or sound. But on March 3rd, 2020, before the 2020 season opened on March 7th, I made a video of a discovery along with the already officially announced two new rides that would be coming to Six Flags Over Georgia, but some major changes too as well that would go into the new revamp of Gotham City, such as name changes to rides, shops, and restaurants restaurants that I mentioned that this will not only just be a revamp, but an ultimate overhaul of the whole area period. With this came a new tweak of Mindbender's name to what it would be known now as the Riddler Mindbender, which had people quite confused because Mindbender was already themed after the Riddler, but all of this spawned another concern as the question circulated about the sign getting a change as well to match the new name. On the thumbnail for a video I made on March 21st, I put my idea of what the logo would look like. I wasn't right, but I was in the ballpark of what it could look like if it were unfortunately indeed to change. I'll come back to this a little bit later in the video. Governor Kemp stated that the theme parks may reopen with guidelines starting on June 12, 2020. Later on June 8th, Six Flags Over Georgia announced that they would officially be reopening for the 2020 season on June 15th to members and season pass holders. Then all ticketed guests on June 22nd along with the grand reopening of the all new Gotham City section of the park. But what was left out but discovered hidden on the website was that Mindbender wouldn't reopen with it, but would in fact officially reopen in 2021. Okay, let's fast forward a bit. The all new Gotham City section of the park reopened and I was happy to be there that day, even though the temperatures reached a high of 104 degrees. But when we ventured back to see the all new Gotham City section of the park, to explore it and ride the new attractions, we noticed that all of the signs minus the Joker chaos coaster had changed. The biggest surprise was that our biggest fear did indeed come into play as all the Although Mindbender was still closed, it had an all new sign to go along with the new name. You all know how I feel about it and my love for the old sign that was their last which was honestly one of the best signs in any theme park. But what was awesome though we did notice and were pleased was how Mindbender received a brand new paint job which really made the coaster pop. But moving forward, the park continued to operate for the 2020 season until January 3rd, 2021 with major track pieces still missing from the beginning of the year of 2020 till the end of the 2020 season. Then all of a sudden a beacon of light a sense of hope as it was reported and seen on January 11th that the missing track pieces had arrived unpainted. Not too long after that, sometime between roughly January 13th to the 19th, the new yet to be repainted track pieces had already been installed. I was fortunate enough to see it in person for myself during the media day for the brand new Hot Wheels Ultimate drive through Experience event at Six Flags Over Georgia. I was totally elated to see it up close and how it looked. But special thanks and shout out to Outer Marker Productions for personally sending me drone footage of the Mindbender construction. As we can see here from the aerial view that the track is indeed fully in place with the new track unpainted still. All three loops and elements are still there which answers the questions of fear that people had of rumors that the third loop would be removed due to construction issues and that they would have to restructure the layout of this coaster. By the way, it looks like Batman as well received a new paint job from what it looks and appears here in the footage. And when I visit it in person for the new drive through experience as well, you can see in person that it does look like it has a whole new coat of paint and I love how it looks. But what I do hope for this coaster 
is that it indeed does get new trains, that the new track pieces keeps it smooth along with increasing the longevity of this epic steel coaster. I also hope that the queue gets theme music. And lastly, I hope that they utilize the waterfall feature again so we can experience all of the full beauty and effects of the terrain that engulfs this coaster. Mindbender will indeed reopen again in 2021. At this rate it's going, it might even be open on opening day of March 6, 2021. But this makes me wonder if Six Flags Over Texas will be doing anything new like this with Shockwave. Which Shockwave and Mindbender are both Schwarzkopf looping coasters that were both built in 1978 for the first two ever Six Flags parks in Six Flags Over Texas and Six Flags Over Georgia. Although Shockwave at Six Flags Over Texas has two loops and Mindbender has three and was deemed as the world's first triple looping coaster. <laughs> See how the third loop question came full circle from the intro? So with that being said, what are your thoughts on Mindbender? Do you think it will reopen again in March? What do you think of the new paint job? Does it need new trains? If you've ridden Shockwave at Six Flags Over Texas and Mindbender at Six Flags Over Georgia, which one do you think is better? And lastly, in your opinion, does Mindbender indeed have three loops? Let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this timeline of Mindbender's construction and we all hope, including myself, that we have it reopened again very, very soon. It does state that it will be opening again in 2021. So super excited about that. But thank you guys so much. Be well, be safe, and have a thrilling day. So if you enjoyed the video, you can support the channel via Patreon, where we have all new live streams and exclusive content and giveaways that are dedicated to the patrons on the exclusive Miguel the Annual Passholder Patreon page. And also, if you like looking nice, you can support the channel via our merchandise shop at annualpassholder.shop. You can find amazing t-shirts and hoodies such as this one that you guys can purchase for the low. And feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn it from red to gray and like this video if you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much and have a thrilling day.